Do you want to find the internal duplicate content you have on your website and also improve your website's content quality score by improving spelling and grammar mistakes? With Screaming Frog 13.0, you can actually do that all in one software. Let's embark. So you might be asking, why do I need to remove internal duplicate content? Yeah, you're right. It doesn't cause a manual penalty. However, having duplicate content within your website causes two main issues. One, keyword cannibalization. And two, low quality content score within your website. When Google sees duplicate content all over your website and the exact same things everywhere, then in Google's eyes, your website is very poor quality. Also by fixing your spelling and grammar mistakes on your website, Google sees this as a very good sign if your website has no spelling or grammar mistakes or very minimal, that your website has good high quality content, which everyone knows in 2020, that's what Google cares about most, high quality content. So the first thing you wanna do is go into Screaming Frog, download the new update, which is a 13.0 update. Then move into configuration and go down to content duplicates. Within this section, you need to check that both the only check indexable pages for duplicates is checked and enable near duplicates. The reasoning for this is if it's not indexable, Google can't see it anyways, so it doesn't really matter. In terms of threshold, you want to see what you consider personally as an SEO a duplicate content. I usually put this as 85%. So if any pages have 85% similar content, it'll just come up as a near duplicate. Press OK. The next thing you want to do is go back into configuration, go to content and go to spelling and grammar. Make sure both enable spell check and enable grammar check are checked. You can also put it as automatic language or manual language detection where you can choose the language. So I will choose English Australia. There's a lot of things you can play around here, which I will show you later on, which is you can add or remove grammar rules. You can also ignore words within a page. If it's not a spelling mistake as an example, like say if it's a brand name and it will come up as spelling mistake, you can actually ignore that so it doesn't come up. Also, you can add or remove keywords, ignore keywords from the whole dictionary of Screaming Frog. The next thing you want to do is put in your URL within the spider to crawl and click start. I'll be looking at this website, which is Australian Wholesale Oils. Once the crawl is complete, click crawl analysis and press start. Up on the top right, it will render the crawl analysis. Once the crawl analysis is complete, then click on the content tab as you can come up here and click content. Over here, it'll show you which pages have the closest similarities. These similarities are based on the 85% rule that you set and how many number of near duplicate pages there exists and if they're indexable. As an example, I want to look at the CO2 oils page. As you can see, there is one number of pages, which is a near duplicate. Down the bottom here, you can check actually the page. So the CO2 oils page is near duplicate, which is 85%, which equals 100% similarity as the CO2 extracts page. So I'll open both of them next to each other. These are the two pages opened up next to each other. As you can see, the bulk of the content is exactly the same. And to be honest, it looks like it's the same product as it's the CO2 oils extract and CO2 extracts. In a situation like this, I'd go into Search Console Analytics and see which is actually indexed and getting traffic, and I would remove the other page and 301 redirect it. However, let's say, just say these two pages were different products. What I would like to do is optimize the content and actually reword the content or rewrite the content to make it unique and have keywords which actually go towards the specifications of this product, which makes it different to the product on the left. Original and unique content is always important as Google likes to see that. The more original your content is and the more unique it is, the less the likelihood of keyword cannibalization occurring within your website. What is keyword cannibalization? Keyword cannibalization when you have two different pages which are optimizing for the same keywords. What that does is makes it hard for Google to know which website to rank for that certain keyword. That's why we like to use canonicals or 301 to the right page. In some situations, you can use canonicals. However, in a situation like this, where it's duplicate pages, I would just likely remove the page which is not indexed and then 301 it to the correct page. The next thing you wanna do is check out the spelling and grammar issues. So. Go into the tab, the spelling and grammar page. As I said before, this is something you want to play around with. You can remove keywords from Screaming Frog's dictionary or ignore keywords. This will make your results more precise. However, as an example, I like to look at pages with minimal error counts as it's not a repeating error. So as I can see this page here, can end. It's a spelling issue, which occurs eight times. And as you can see within the content, there is this code, which is C-A-N hashtag 039T. I'll go look within this and see if it is a spelling issue or if it's just the way Screaming for rendered it and actually fix this to improve my page quality score. By doing things like this, you can optimize your content better and you can actually improve your website's quality score and the page's quality score. And hey, as John Mueller says, higher quality content is the way to the first page. All right. 
My SEO joke of the day. What do black hat search engine optimizers eat? Spam. Get it? Spam. That's it for the tips today. If you enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, peace out.